everyone, Matt here from Doctors Running, and today we're gonna to do a sub two initial review of the Topo Spectre. So the Topo Spectre is a brand new lightweight trainer slash workout racing shoe coming from this brand. Pretty different from what they've done so far. They're kind of known for a little bit more like minimalist inspired type shoe. Again, Tony Post is the ex-CEO of Vibram Fight, you know, so you know, that makes sense that things would be that way, but they're definitely changing this stuff up. So maximal stack height here, stiff ride, very rockered, 35 millimeters in the heel, 30 in the forefoot. So still a five millimeter drop, but there's a lot of foam underfoot. EVA frame here with a PBAX insert. So they're starting to mess with some new foams, which I'm super excited about. Cause to be honest, Topo foams have definitely been on the firmer side. Not only is the most comfortable, um, unless you like a firmer ride, which sometimes I do, but this is different. This feels like a nice mix between those foams where it's got the firmer EVA feel, kind of gives it an inherent, inherently stable ride, right? There's not, not traditional stability methods. We'll talk about that in a second. But then you got that PBAX insert which provides a little bit of pop there. So I describe it as being on the softer side of firm. It's really fun. Fun shoe, great as a lightweight trainer for me. I have done a workout in it. Wasn't the fastest shoe, but it was a shoe that I could easily warm up, do a workout and cool down in. I personally wouldn't race in this, but a lot of people might consider this for longer distance effort where they want a little bit more shoe underfoot. There's a lot of flare here, which I wanna talk about. And what is flare? So flare is where the sole extends beyond where the foot is. We talk about posterior heel flare, not liking that much because it causes early initial contact. But when you use it on the lateral medial sides, it can kind of guide motion a little bit. So there's a lot of medial flare. And what that's gonna do is when, if you try to roll in at the heel, it's gonna provide a little resistance to that motion. Some people that roll out might like lateral flare. I'm not always the biggest fan because lateral flare, you can get, you can land a little bit early and you're muscles have to time a certain amount, but certain people might like that. So there's a lot of flair here and that might provide a little guidance for some people that need it. 